What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be blowing up the Cleveland Cavaliers. If you've been watching for a while you know exactly how these type of videos go. We basically trade everybody but keep one person. But today I may not keep anybody. I might just trade the whole team. Before we get into it let's set a like goal of 200 likes. Please hit that like button if you can. It is very helpful especially at times like this where uh, things are starting to go south for me honestly. So I would really appreciate it. And of course I'm also really disappointed today because the green screen that I ordered was supposed to come in today, but unfortunately it's not here yet. So hopefully in tomorrow's video, I will have my green screen. We can feature the green screen in tomorrow's video, but uh, unfortunately it's not here today. So let's go ahead and blow up the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's go straight into the draft lottery and just get started because we all know Cavaliers are going to have a lottery pick. So we are going to hopefully get lucky here. We are projected number nine and we do stay at number nine, which is okay. But like I said, we basically trade everybody that we can. I can't believe John Beeline still the head coach here. Didn't they promote JB Bickerstaff? I'm not sure if I like that move uh, totally, but it is Cleveland, so I don't know what, uh, what to expect there. But uh, for the assistant, we're going to go here. And for the trainer, we're going to go for Randy Martin. Obviously, the Cavaliers haven't had any kind of success ever since LeBron has left. And, you know, rightfully so. Obviously, LeBron was the best player on the team. And then Kyrie uh, left before that. So, yeah, things just haven't gone very well for them as of late. So let's go ahead and see if we can turn this team around by blowing them up and almost basically trading everybody if there's one player i will trade or if i that i would keep it would be colin sexton and i'm just not think i'm just thinking i'm not, probably not gonna do that but we'll we'll see what we can do so for this first trade i love the idea of getting jj reddick and nico Melli. i don't get jj reddick very often but i really don't want to trade a pick if i don't have to so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw let's see if we can throw in dylan weinler instead uh, this isn't the best trade in the world. Actually, let's go for a bunch of seconds instead. Maybe not my first, not do that. Seconds instead, and would you do this trade? And they're not interested. They want a first. All right, whatever. Let's go back to the original trade. It's one first. We'll probably get more by trading somebody else, so not a big deal. So JJ Redick's going to be the first player we get. Uh, he's going to be a nice veteran presence, and of course, we need to get more players than that. For this next trade, we're going to look at Patrick Beverly. I kind of want to get Patrick Beverly on this team, but again, I really don't want to trade JJ Redick if I don't have to. I'll throw in Osman instead. They don't agree to that. I'll give you a couple of seconds and uh, see if they agree to that, and they still don't agree, so maybe we do have to trade JJ Redick. I was going to keep him, but I left the idea of getting Patrick Beverly and Zubach. I just kind of want to have Beverly in a video. We all know what he brings to the table, so let's go ahead and move him to shooting guard. And then that's like the first two trades that we just did. So already we traded JJ Redick. Uh, we still need to trade Kevin Love Sexton. There's still a lot of players we need to trade, but I kind of want to use some of these assets to get like a star here, obviously. So let's go get Team Mental real quick and see if there's anyone out here that might be a good star to go get. Go for the Toronto Raptors, Pascal Siakam, or of course the basic Devin Booker if we want to do that. Kind of don't want to do that. Carthy Towns have gotten quite a bit. D'Angelo Russell is also available. So uh, we're starting to get to the point where a lot of the players I get, I've gotten them before. So it does kind of suck in this series. But, uh, you know, hopefully things open up later on. But for right now, I think I'm going to go for Pascal Siakam. I don't get him a ton. So let's go to the Raptors. And we have a ton of assets. So I'm sure we can get this to go through. I might end up giving quite a bit more than I want to. But uh, it's going to be worth it at the end of the day. So we'll offer you probably, uh, let's say I give you Weinler. Not gonna agree to that. I'll also give you uh not to Ante Zidrick. Do I want to give a Porter? I mean, I'm gonna have to give him up eventually. I'll offer you a 2021 first as well, and a 2024 first, and they agree. So we didn't even have to give up Garland or Sexton yet. We got Pascal Siakam. That's what I'm talking about. So we have uh Siakam, Beverly. We did trade quite a bit of picks, but uh not the biggest deal, and we kept our ninth pick. So let's go ahead and draft somebody real quick and see if we can get like a next good star on this team, hopefully, with the number nine pick. And we should be all good next to Pascal Siakam. And then, of course, we have Beverly as well. We have Anika Ankongwu, uh, Denny Avdija. I think Denny Avdija is probably the best player to take here. He could definitely play that small forward spot uh, next to Pascal Siakam and Beverly. I love that idea. So we're going to get Denny Avdija here and then sign him up. 77 overall player options. Drummond declines and Zizic accepts. And then for qualifying offers, we're not bringing either of those guys back. But now we're going to go into free agency. Honestly, I think we might have some gap space. We have negative 60 mil. Uh, Andre Drummond, do we have his bird rights or could we even sign him back? Uh, we can, so maybe I could actually what that was the wrong part. We have his bird rights, so we definitely could, uh, you know, look into re signing Andre Drummond and trading him. I definitely will, actually. Let's do that. Let's let's give him a contract. I'm not gonna keep him, I'm actually gonna trade him right away, and then we're gonna renounce Tristan Thompson. Of course, we're not gonna bring him back, so it is very important I didn't give Drummond that uh of course that uh no trade clause because that would have been bad let's throw him up and see what we can get you know, 
Clint Capella. I kind of like the idea of Clint Capella as our center, honestly. Uh, D'Angelo Russell. We could get a point guard and get Omari Spellman. Love that idea as well. And we'll make the Raptor or the Timberwolves a little bit worse, if you ask me. Because we're not going to have a point guard right now. But I also love the idea of Clint Capella. So, but I don't want to give up Beverly if I don't have to. So I guess we'll go with this D'Angelo Russell trade. We'll get D'Angelo Russell and Amari Spellman. And uh, D'Angelo Russell is going to be our new starting point guard for this Cavaliers team. So that's already looking pretty good. And then I can definitely try for Clint Capella. I feel like still, I still feel like that's definitely a possibility. Because definitely could be a nice center next to Clint or next to Pascal Siakam. So let's go to the Hawks and ask for Clint Capella. Let's make it 16 million. I will give you uh, Osman. And I'll also give you Zizic. And they don't agree to that. I'll give you a couple of seconds. And they don't agree to that. And I'll also give you... I guess Spellman as well. They don't agree. I don't really want to give up Garland in this situation. Kind of want to wait for that. Uh, Sexton and Garland are still two players I do need to trade though. Do I want to give up Zubac instead? They don't agree. I'll give up one more first and that's about it. I think that's like the only other thing I'll do. Okay, so they're not doing it. One last thing I do want to try. Maybe if we just ask for him and we might be able to get him. Let's see. Uh, Sexton and Beverly Siakam, DeAndre Russell. No, thank you. So never mind. We're not even going to worry about that. So uh, although centers we could sign, we maybe we can get Tristan Thompson back. Honestly, it could be a nice bridge center, and of course, we could trade him still. So, I will get Tristan Thompson back, and now what we can do is we can throw him up, and we'll also throw up uh, Garland, maybe, and just see what pops up. We can get Middleton and DiVincenzo. We really don't need a starting small forward, though. Michael Porter, Lonzo, DeJounte Murray. There's a lot of good offers, actually. I don't get Chris Middleton very often, actually. Like, almost never. So, if I could keep, if I could keep Beverly, and instead give you Osman... They need a little bit more, and I'll give you Spellman as well, or Zizic as well. They don't agree. Why do you need Patrick Beverly? I, I mean, I don't necessarily need to keep Beverly, but I kind of prefer to. They don't agree to that, but like I said, I never get Chris Milton. So we're going to do this trade. We're going to give Garland, Be Beverly, Tristan Thompson. We also get even Chenzo to replace Beverly, so no big deal. So now uh, our small forward spot is looking pretty nasty. So we have D'Angelo Russell, Sexton, Devin Chenzo, Middleton, Osman, uh, Abdiha, Pascal Siakam, Zubac, Spellman. That's looking pretty nice. And now that we traded uh, Beverly and we uh, honestly just got Chris Milton, maybe we could throw up Abdiha or uh, sign his draft contract. Why is that even on? Hold on. I will definitely fix that here in a second. But because I usually don't have that on. But for right now, uh, I guess we'll sign like another player we can trade and then we'll make like one last trade possibly to complete this team. Do this trade to get Thomas Adaransky and Luke Cornette for Zizic and Osman. And what I think I'm going to do for right now, we are actually going to keep Sexton. And we're going to trade him to the trade deadline. That way he gets a little bit better. And we'll probably trade Abdiha as well for like a really good center. Because right now, our center is Avika Zubac. But that's not really the center I want to see there long term. And yeah, other than that, I think that's all we're going to do. So basically, we're going to sim to the trade deadline. Make one last trade. And then hopefully we can make it like a championship run in the first season. But, you know, right now the Cavaliers team is looking pretty good after we just blew them up. But we only player we've kept... We got to trade these two real quick as well. But the only player we've kept... Is Colin Sexton, I believe. Uh, let me make sure that is correct. Don't think there's anybody else here. Obviously, Dean Wade just came back. And then, yeah, I think that's it. So, definitely. And then Matt Mooney. So, we need to trade both those guys and get them out here. So, let's go ahead and throw Matt Mooney and Dean Wade out there. That way, nobody in the comment section is like, hey, you forgot to trade this guy. And I just traded both of them. So, now there's no Cavaliers other than Colin Sexton. But I still do plan on trading him. So, don't even worry. But let's go ahead and uh, get to training camps and see what kind of training camps we can use and then we can look at the rotation together. Use untapped potential camp on Colin Sexton. We're gonna use untapped potential on, uh, I guess we use it on DeAndre Russell, get him up to an A plus. And we'll also use it on maybe Abdiha down here who's at an A right now. So potentially we may not change anything. Uh, of course I am subject to keeping one person on this roster, but uh, if we are going to trade some, or if we are going to keep Colin Sexton, I wouldn't mind, but I'll probably end up trading him, like I said. We're going to squeeze this down to a 9 rotation. We're going to have D'Angelo Russell, DiVincenzo, Chris Middleton, Pascal Siakam, Avika Zubac, Colin Sexton, Amari Spellman, Alec Burks, and Thomas Adaransky. And actually, if Diaz is not even getting any minutes right now, so I guess we could send him to the G League for now, and then we'll trade him maybe at the trade deadline, like I said. But let's go ahead and send to the trade deadline and see how good this team is, and hopefully we can trade for a center at the trade deadline. So we're at the trade deadline and I found this very, very interesting. The Rockets are selling and there's nobody on the team that's untouchable. James Harden almost seems like it would be impossible, right? And I honestly think it's probably going to be impossible, but it doesn't hurt to try, right? So I think we're gonna try to get James Harden. I don't know how likely that's gonna be. 
it's gonna be so tough i've never once traded for james harden it's probably gonna be impossible but we'll try it anyway so let's go to the rockets and see what they would want so uh also i need to look at one more thing let's go to uh team intel and go look at one more thing let's see who's on their target list so they want Kawhi, Giannis, and rudy go bear all targets for this team so what if i got rudy go bear would they give me james harden interesting you know what i think rudy Gobert is definitely possible so let's try for that first and then maybe we can flip go bear to the rocket so they want deandre russell uh no thanks sexton middleton i don't want to give up a ton for go bear and uh i might have to let's see let's see all right what do we want to do here let's go to the jazz real quick and uh let's see if i can get go bear for the cheapest amount of money as possible so i could trade middleton siakam i'm gonna try to keep siakam for the hardened trade potentially uh what do we want to do let's throw in we're gonna have to trade we're gonna have to choose between middleton russell and siakam and of course i think middleton's probably the one we're gonna go ahead and throw in and they want they just want two picks i'm down we'll do this we'll get rudy gobert real quick and then we have denny of so now we go to team intel and the rockets are currently targeting rudy gobert so hopefully this helps me get james harden i don't know if it will or not but it's definitely worth a shot so let's go to the rockets now james harden i will give you the guy you want rudy gobert and i'll also give you pascal siakam uh they're not doing it just yet okay what if i give you dan russell instead? okay so four well, two four-star trade value. They don't agree to that. Uh, what does that say? You're asking me too much. Okay, hold on, hold on. We still we could still add fuel to this fire. We have no picks at all. Oh my gosh, we need a first-round pick so badly. We don't have any. Okay, I'll also throw not Saturansky. I'll throw up Diha in here as well. I will literally just go crazy for Harden because I've never gotten him before. And then you give me that guy. Oh my lord, guys, we got James freaking Harden. How often does that happen? Oh my lord. Never in history have I traded for James Harden. That's awesome. I get I just gave up so much for him, but it's it's worth it, man. I don't even care. We got see we kept Siakam as well. And Harden is not somebody you get like on a daily basis. So I'm I'm totally cool with this. But now, of course, we need to surround this team with talent because we really don't have a lot around James Harden right now. Trades like this just make my day because we really need a starting center. I threw Sexton up there. We're going to get Bam Adebayo and Duncan Robinson. And Bam Adebayo is going to be our starting center now next to Siakam and Harden. That's already looking pretty nasty. Of course, our point guard and small forward spot's not very good right now. But the bench actually isn't too bad because we have uh, DiVincenzo, Zubach, Alec Burks, and Duncan Robinson. Of course, we need to trade like two of these guys because we really don't need that much. And what we can do with Luke Cornett because I know he goes up. At power four, he goes up to a 77, so he could be our backup four potentially. But we still need to find a point guard in a decent small four. I mean, Sadoransky isn't bad, you know, bad, but I kind of want to look for something different. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw Sadoransky and a couple seconds and see if we can get like a, a point guard or a small forward out of this. So hopefully we can get something a little bit better. If not, maybe I'll just roll with it and uh, we'll have to live with it. Robert Covington. Honestly, uh, we could get Robert Covington, but his trade value kind of sucks. And of course... We all know what Robert Covington does if you get him. So I kind of want, if, if I knew this man was going to shoot fine and everything would have been fine, he would have been like the perfect starting small forward. But fortunately, he's just not all that. So I'm going to throw uh, Burks and Duncan Robinson, I guess, because Duncan Robinson goes cold sometimes in the playoffs, which I don't know why. And we can get Josh Richardson, Kevon Looney. That's actually not a bad trade. Marcus Smart, Malik Beasley. Uh, we could do something like that. Robert Covington behind Macklemore. Okay, so there's some decent trades. We can get Robert Richardson and Kevon Looney. Uh, we don't need to... We can get Marcus Smart. I love that idea, honestly. I do like the idea of getting Marcus Smart. Because we could... What we could do is we can move Harden to point guard. And he could definitely play point guard. He's done it before, obviously. So, I love the idea of Marcus Smart. We still need a better small forward, though. Like, badly. And then we have... Honestly, our bench is fine. So, really, we just need to find a better small forward. And we should have a good team. So, I'm going to throw up Omri Caspi and raw netto and a second and i don't know if i'm gonna get a small forward out of this or not who knows maybe i will no there's not i mean i could go daniel house might be a little bit decent so i think i'm gonna get daniel house and then now what we can do is we're gonna move hard into point guard he goes down by two but that's no big deal so now what we can do is we're gonna move james Harden to point guard so it's james Harden, and mark smart daniel house pascal siakam bam out about even chinzo zubach Sadoransky and Luke Cornett. Yep, that's very awesome. So never thought I'd get James Harden before, but we sure have. So I'm definitely happy about that. 
Don't know if this is going to lead to a championship or not. We're going to move to a balance and then uh, let's go ahead and see how the rest of the season goes. Season number one comes to an end as LeBron wins MVP. James Wiseman, Rookie of the Year on the Hornets. Yusuf Nurkic is your six man Kawhi defensive player. John Morant is your most improved and Brett Brown's your coach of the year and MVP goes LeBron James. Oh yeah, we just said that. So here's your All-NBA first team, All-NBA second and All-NBA third team. James Harden makes it. On the Cleveland Cavaliers, this is kind of so weird. I've never gotten James Harden. What did we trade for him again? We traded a lot. I mean, it was worth it because I kind of wanted, you know, I always try to experiment and get guys I've never gotten before. I'm not, oh, there it is. I was like, can I not look at transaction report? Let's go to, all right, so this is what we gave up. Let's see, what did we give up? We gave up Rudy Gobert, D'Angelo Russell, two first round picks, and Denny Abdiha. So yeah, it was actually quite a bit. But you know what? I felt like it was worth it. We got Bam about right after that and Marcus Smart. So yeah, definitely things. Are looking pretty good i'm very happy about that so we went 55 and 27 let's go look at the stats real quick and uh let's see if mr james Harden can lead us to a championship with 27 points 24 from siakam 20 from bam out of bio 11 9 9 8 5 and i mean things are just going well so now we're going to play the miami heat who we just took uh obviously bam out of bio from them but they have sexton now and now linux they're starting center bam out of bio should kill this guy right let's see what happens let's see if we can win this championship in one season we're up one to zero two to zero and three to zero and can we go yes we can four to zero now it looks like we're gonna go win this thing all right now we got the atlanta hawks let's see what the hawks have they have trey young clarkson gordon collins and capella and cousins bertans let's see if we get past this team as well hopefully we're able to we're up one to zero two to zero uh three to zero are we gonna sweep the east we might end up sweeping the eastern conference okay now we're playing the boston Celtics, which is gonna be a lot tougher Kimba Brown, Gordon Hayward. Yeah, they have a nice lineup. We all know that. And I uh, stole Marcus Smart from them and gave them Burks and Duncan Robinson. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we're able to beat them. We're up 1-0, to 2-0. to I was about to say, there's no way we sweep the Celtics, right? No way. We just beat them in five games. That was stupid easy. But now we get to play the Clippers. Lou Will, Paul George, Kawhi, Larry Nance, Montrezl Harrell. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to beat this team or not. But let's go ahead and see. We're up 1-0, to 2-0, to 3-0. to zero. Oh, my gosh, this is too easy. This is too easy. I've never got James Harden before, but that we just we just we just won this championship. There's no way we get a 3-0 comeback on, right? There's no way that's gonna happen, right? There's no way. Okay, so we lose this game. That's fine. Let's go back to Cleveland and uh win this. So let's go see if we can win this game. And uh hopefully we're able to win this championship and call it a day. So can we do it? Yes, we're in Cleveland, and uh let's go ahead and slow this down. We'll get we'll jump in like yeah, we'll jump in now. So one last thing I want to say, Cleveland! This is for you. All right, boys, we're up 20 with the minute 50 left. So I don't think there's any way we can possibly, you know, blow this lead. But you never know with me. You guys know how bad I am at 2K. And as we let Montrezl get an and one. But yeah, honestly, though, I feel like I'm better than what I show on display. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I feel like I'm pretty good. The only unfortunate part about 2K is like, I'm going to be honest. I really don't play this game a lot. I really don't. Unfortunately, this game is just I played a little bit of my career and all that. But I just never really had that a lot of fun with this one. I don't know what it was. It's just, I'm sure everybody feels that way about this one. I only, like, I literally only get on 2K to do these rebuilds for you guys. That's, like, about all I do on this game. Like, seriously. Not even kidding. Like, I barely ever, like, jump on and play, get gameplay. I'm usually playing, like, Warzone on my Xbox or Madden sometimes. But uh, I can't, I can't sit down and play 2K, man. I really can't. I just, I literally only do these rebuilds for you guys. That's the only thing I do on 2K. I'm hoping next year's 2K is a lot more fun. 2K15... Is where i had the most fun i think i used to drop like 50 points a game in my career like it was stupid easy it was so easy to make the cheesiest shots in that game like it was just so much fun obviously the you know 2ks are a little bit more realistic but still i think it was a lot more fun back in the day uh that was almost yeah i was gonna i was gonna get fouled maybe or i was gonna get blocked if i just went all the way to the rack but that's all right so we're getting the go in and luke cornet so we should be good there but like I said, man, uh, I love 2K. Don't get me wrong. It's just I'm hoping next year's game is a little bit better. I tried a little bit of my career this year. It's just, I don't know, man. The nicknames and the cheesy storylines sometimes just, I don't like them too much. Like, I, you know, the China one isn't bad and all that, but just uh, Che, the nickname Che, I, I just didn't like that. I just thought that was weird. And then uh, one time you were frequency vibes or something weird like that. So I don't know why I'm ranting about 2K right now, but obviously I'm playing the game. So I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just talking. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, Daniel House is going to give me a pick and that should be a layup, which should be good. 99 to 118. Tremont Waters is out here. I was kind of hoping to get some gameplay with James Harden, but they subbed him out, which is no big deal. 
We're just going to watch my uh, scrubs play here. And we play the Clippers scrubs as well. And we should be winning this video, which is also really freaking good. And I actually want to show you guys something before we go away. Because LeBron is actually uh, watching me right now, if you believe it or not. And I will show you what I mean by that. I will go get him here in a second. But I'm going to score one last bucket. And Luke Cornett's going to go to the rim. And that's a dunk. Let me get LeBron. Let me get LeBron. This is LeBron. Uh, you guys probably can't really see it. Hold on, hold on. Let me get LeBron James, 2K night. I won this actually when I went to go get 2K. You still can't really see him. Can you see him now? I put a Blazers hat on him. I don't know if you could see that. But yeah, I mean, LeBron was watching me this whole time. I'm sure he would be proud. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. I really appreciate you for watching. I know this is a little bit of a weird ending. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what team you want to see me blow up next. But for now, this is Crunchables. And I'm saying peace.